Today I'm going to continue with the work on the second hole. First I'm gonna sh help shape it and also there's two gaps where the front part meets with the back part so I'll try to fix that one. I'll show you. Here and there and also I'll cut these screws. continue with the shaping of the point. As you can see here the plywood, it extends just a little bit over the piece temple point. You can see here the same, so I'm gonna shape this and I'm gonna cut those screws I already told you about. Now that the shape of the point is more or less ready to put the very tip of it, I'm gonna continue with the plywood at the sides and i show you why. As you can see here, sometimes the plywood is a little bit taller than the wood. Here, there's a big gap of plywood over the wood, so I want to trim that so that it's level. Now that I leveled that, I am going to actually make some sort of a bevel at both of those sides so that I can put, lay on the fiberglass easier. But you can see there is a gap at the board side and there's a smaller gap on the starboard side. So I'm gonna close them with wood filler and then let it dry. As you can see now, the transom is all sealed up. Now, to make the actual point, I'm planning on using a piece of 3x1, let's say this one, and glue it and screw it to the section, and then with the plane, just trim that off. It's a lot of work, but I probably have to do that. And then, over that 3x1, I'll probably put a piece of 2x2 two two that I will have to go and buy, like this, and repeat the same process. And I broke this point, this is a piece, this, uh, I don't know how I will repair it. This is more to have a guide, but I'll have to use this. So as you can see here, what I'm using to guide the handsaw is actually the shape of the hole. So I'm cutting right in, in that plane and I'm cutting through that, that wood. I'm gonna scratch a little bit this face. In the one I just cut there's a few scratches but they're worth it so that the shape is the correct shape of the hole. I'm 
gonna make one of the parts of the front of this other hole. I'm gonna make some wood filler to fill gaps like these, or this is the biggest one actually. But, like for example, on this other side, the gaps are small ones like this one or this one. So, I'm gonna make some wood filler and fill them up. So today I'm gonna install this piece of 2x2 two two so that I can make some sort of a ski for the bottom of the hole so that it doesn't get too beat up when I pull it from or to the ocean. Now to attach this piece right here at the front I'm gonna use a few 2 inch screws And now I'm going to cut to shape these two pieces so that they fit the shape of the hole. As you can see here, this is one of the reasons why I actually drilled the hole instead of getting a bigger screw. So that if the screw was all the way up to the point, it actually would have been cut it by the saw, where I would, where I would have dulled the blade or damaged the blade even. There's actually a few things with <laughs> The points of the holes are actually too pointy and the problem with that is that they are actually too fragile. Any impact or any, let's say, an impact with a rock or an impact with another boat or even with a person could probably damage the point or damage someone else. To prevent this from happening, I will round a little bit the point so that they're a little bit stronger. As you can see in this other one, I already grinded it a little bit and this round edge will actually make this lower point much stronger to impact. So I shaped the first hole already, at least the top part of it. Now I'm going to continue with the second hole. Well, another part that I want to grind is this back part. As you can see now, there is a 90 degree angle and I want this 2x2 to be actually a little bit grinded on the back if I pull the catamaran backwards for example. So thank you guys very much for watching and if you'd like to, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe.